All right, well, boys, what day is today? It's day eight. Day eight of what? Day eight of the 30 day challenge, right? Does boot camp end today, yes or no? No. I mean, it does. <laughs> But do you stop going out after today? No. What do you do? Keep approaching. You keep going out, you keep taking action. You keep taking massive action towards your goals, right? Now let's talk about how do you implement this in your life? Obviously you come out here to an immersive coaching program where our full time, effort, energy, dedication is towards you know, putting 100% effort into this. It's hard to do that. When you go back home, you have your career, you got your marketing agency, you got your coaching company, uh, you know, you're doing, you're, you're in a different place, you're in a different environment, right? You're never gonna have it as easy as, not as easy as a bootcamp, it's, or as hard as it on a bootcamp, right? But the thing is, you gotta implement this in your life. And how do you do that? Does anyone know? Massive action. Massive action, how else? Keep on following the pillars of communication. Yes, how else? Set aside time. Say again? Set aside time so to do it. So consistency, set aside time to do it, which is, he's describing as consistency. Do you understand that, guys? Consistency. Even if you don't feel like doing it, even when you don't wanna go out, you're like, I don't feel like going out today. I don't wanna go take action today. I don't feel like talking to girls. Oh, I've got the cold, I've got the flu. You know, last night, I didn't wanna go out yesterday, dude. I was tired. When we were out yesterday at 11 p.m., I didn't wanna go out, I did it. We brought some girls home, and it's 2 a.m., and I'm like, fuck, it is pull time. We went back out. We're fighting for scraps in the street. We're still in cold approaches. I didn't want to do that, right? I go home, I lay in bed. I try to put on Fortnite. I try to play some video games. I get bored in a minute because I'm like, what is this peasant shit, right? Order some food. I'm watching videos about like random infographic shows and stuff. And I'm just DMing bitch on Instagram, dude. And I had a girl come over at five in the morning. So girl came over at five in the morning and she tricked me into thinking I took her virginity. She's like, oh my God, it hurts so much. I'm a virgin. Daddy, I'm a, she's literally saying, daddy, I'm a virgin. Oh my God, it hurts, it hurts. This girl tricked me into thinking I took her virginity. Fucking hell. You understand how girls run game on guys? You guys understand that? And how was I able to even figure that out? It's because, actually because it turns out Michael pumped her. <laughs> when I was in Europe like a month ago, right? Cause, I, cause um, he's like, who'd you smash? I'm like, oh, this girl. He's like, He's like, I fucked her while in Europe. I'm like, oh. And it's funny, he probably fucked her here. She didn't mention anything about ever being in my house. Right? Isn't that how, man, these girls are sneaky motherfuckers, bro. These girls are, but you know what? I didn't care about that. I didn't give a fuck. I don't care. I just wanted, like, to be honest, I'm not gonna lie, guys. Yesterday I was missing my ex girlfriend. Like, I, I don't know what the fuck hit me yesterday, dude. Because usually on the last day or two of boot camp, we come over. And like every boot camp we did last year, I did a lot of boot camps. She'd always come over. And it was like one of the last days of boot camp. But I'm like, you just, when, I'm, when I get tired of boot camp, you just Come, like come hang out with me, right? And I just walk in my room, I'm like, oh fuck, she's not here, right? And I was just meditating through it. I was just following the process, you know? I was staying consistent with my game. I was like, you know what, it doesn't matter. Because again, a lot of times you have old mental programming in your fucking brain. It doesn't matter that you miss your ex-girlfriend. doesn't matter that you miss jerking off, smoking weed, playing video games. It doesn't matter that any of that shit, right? You guys understand that? You gotta put in the work, your habits determine your future, the results don't really matter. Do you guys understand that? The processes and the actions you take is what matters. Do you understand? Show me a man's habits and I will show you his future. You become the average of the five people you're surrounding yourself with the most. Do you understand that? Does everyone understand that? Look at who we were around this week. Every single one of us had amazing qualities about us, right? Ian's hardcore masculinity. Luis's uh, incredible levels of success and communication and uh, how humble he is, right? His uh, skill set with coaching and his relationship, uh, his level of action taking, right? His level of pushing himself. There's so much we had to learn from each and every single one of us. Michael's level of self discipline and consistency. You, know, you guys understand, Michael has like a full career. He's like a high level software engineer. And he's just like fucking, he's still been out with us in boot camp every fucking night, dude. No excuses, no bullshit. Every night, he, he like, someone's gonna forget that Michael has a nine to five. Right? I completely forget because he's out every single night. Like me and Luis are both like kind of like living the retired life. Like we're seeing the restaurant the other day, like in the uh, between uh, boot camp sessions, we're just eating like good food. We're just talking shit about his bitches. We're like laughing. And we're like, man, this we live a good life, man. We we're very lucky. We've made it this far. We live a good life. We get to do what we love. We're passionate about. Get paid from that, et cetera, et cetera. Right? And I was thinking, man, like not everyone has that. Not everyone has that opportunity. 
You know, not everyone really gets that opportunity, guys. You know? So guys like Michael, guys like Aiden, Aiden has a full on career in software sales outside of coaching, right? Michael as well, full on uh, career in software, right? So no excuses, you gotta take action, you gotta put in the time, the effort, the energy, the consistency. Do you guys understand? Or you go back to your old life, you know? Not making the level of money you wanna make or not getting the quality of women you wanna date. I'm just living an average mediocre life. It's up to you and you can go back to life. I'm not gonna lie, dude, for the last, I don't wanna say I went back to that life for the last six months. My life's still significantly better than it has ever been. Uh, but I wasn't operating at my highest potential for a few months. I had a few months here and there or moments of time where I wasn't, I felt like I wasn't operating at my highest potential because I just got too comfortable. I got too comfortable with my women. I got too comfortable with the money in the bank. I got too comfortable with how easy my life got, right? And I wasn't pushing to my edge. Does it make sense? So you can get comfortable, right? And just, you end up average. What happens if you get comfortable? You get fat, you get lazy, you get old, right? Or keep pushing yourself to the absolute fucking limits. It's extremely, extremely fucking important, okay? Push yourself more and more every single day. You guys understand that? If you improve yourself or aim to improve yourself at least 1% every single day, what do you think your life's gonna look like 10 years from now? Millionaire. Sure, what else? 10 million. That's it. 100 million. That's it. <laughs> no, but you understand what I'm saying? Right? Just work on yourself every single fucking day. Aim to make yourself the ultimate fucking man. The ultimate version of yourself. That when you show up there, the king is here. The big boss just walked in the room. Do you understand that? We have every single, you know, possible character trait to your advantage. You're always on fucking time. Dude, even today, dude, I was super fucking rushed. Guess what? We're on, I was on time. Absolutely, dude. I was underslept, overworked, trying to get my keys back, trying to Uber this bitch home. I somehow was able to squeeze in a workout, right? And we still fucking started on time. Do you guys understand that? I'm able to fucking just always on time. Imagine if you show up every single fucking day for yourself on fucking time. You tell yourself you're gonna start at this time, you start at that fucking time. You're not late, you hold everyone to the same standard. What does your life look like? How do you guys think I became one of the top promoters in the city, dude? He gives, like, dude, I brought, like, dude, together, together, not I, but we brought 150 girls out on Friday night. All the girls were there on time. All the promoters were there on time. Do you guys notice that? Every single night my promoters are there on time. So why the fuck is it late? Why, like, how does that make sense? Right? Like, why are you, like, how can you justify being late when every, even the, the 19 year old college chicks show up on time? You know, do you guys understand what I'm saying? Does everything make sense? What do you think your life is gonna look like? a year from now, two years from now, 10 years from now, when everything you do, you always show up on time. You say, hey, we're gonna have a coffee this time, show up on time. Hey, babe, we're gonna meet up at this time, you show up at that time. Hey, bro, we're gonna set this business meeting at this time, you show up at that time, right? You guys understand, it's never been about showing up on time. It's about the person you become when you can hold yourself accountable to that. Does it make sense? Your habits determine your future. Does everyone understand this? Yes. 100%.